But amid a big raging controversy over the former president accepting an invite to address RSS workers, Pranam Mukherjee is going to be addressing the RSS trainees. This event will take place in Nagpur. And before the address, his daughter, Sharmishta Mukherjee, has hit out at the former president saying that her father's speech will be forgotten and only visuals will remain. She further adds that Pranam Mukherjee, by attending the RSS event, is giving an opportunity to the BJP and the RSS to plant false stories and spread false rumours. Senior Congress leaders are already opposing the move and sources have said that they will be keeping a close watch on what the former president has to say in his speech. Pranam Mukherjee is going to be addressing the RSS meet at 6.30 today in the evening in the presence of 700 RSS cadres from across the country. Sir Mr. Mukherjee's criticism of Pranam Mukherjee attending RSS program is misplaced and misconceived. She has been criticizing from the political, narrow political perspective. She is, which, uh, which ideal she is talking of? Dynastic politics and ultra-individualism are dominating the Congress culture. Tell me what is wrong with uh, Pranam Mukherjee going to address the RSS? He is not going to listen to a lecture of RSS. He is giving RSS a lecture. I can understand Congress fear that if people start associating with the RSS, they may start leaving. There is a feeling in the Congress that unless we get rid of this foreign element, this foreign chop that has come on Congress, we have no hope of ever coming to power. So uh, they are worried that maybe uh, Pranam Mukherjee is going to create a Swadeshi Congress and they are uh, upset about it. Jo vicharo se prerit hokar, unhone aaj tak sab netao ki Indira ji, राजीव जी से लेकर सोनिया जी की कृपा प्राप्त की आज एकदम सर्वोच्च पद पे पहुंचने के बाद उन्होंने एकदम इस तरह से जिन विरोधों जिन विचारों से विरोध था उसके तरफ जाना एक सच्चे कांग्रेसी के नाते हम सबका विरोध है सरी बहुत सारे कांग्रेसियों का इस बात के लिए विरोध है we do not agree with uh, the way RSS pursues uh, agenda of Hindutva and Hindurashtra. Let us see what uh, the former president is going to say there and uh, what is going to be its impact. But it has caused uh, some amount of uh, apprehensions in the minds of uh, their own, uh, his own party man, that is congressman, including his daughter. Let me go straight across now to National Affairs Editor Rahul Srivastav, who's keeping a close watch on this event. Rahul, Pranam Mukherjee's decision to address the RSS workers has already snowballed into one big controversy. But his daughter now hitting out at, uh, you know, the entire invite and her father accepting the same will make this event even more keenly watched. Yes, Abandika. This, I think, is one of the most critical element, uh, events one could have watched because I do not think that Pranam Mukherjee or Pranam Mukherjee is a one-off event. Somebody who is uh, into the political sunset of his career and uh, he's merely coming because this is something he has not done before in his life. I think it has got a great amount of significance and I think Pranam Mukherjee is trying to send across a signal. Hmm. Now, why is it politically significant? At a time when uh, opposition parties led by the Congress are trying to create a a front against the BJP across the country. Secularism is the bedrock as far as this coming together is concerned. And when we talk secularism, it is an, an anti-communalism get together mm -hmm. at the core of which for the opposition lies the RSS. Mm -hmm. Now somebody who is a tied in bull congressman, uh, though politicians shed their political stripes once they become president, but Pranam Mukherjee is too deeply uh, part of the Congress DNA that the Congress finds that at a time when it is trying to build a secular front, if Pranam Mukherjee goes to the RSS function, then its flank gets diluted. That dilution the Congress is worried about in future, not because of any other holier and loftier... So, uh, so Rahul, purpose. in your experience, what is the former president, what is the message he's sending out? Because everyone is really very eager to interpret uh, the former president's acceptance with the Congress really urging him to reconsider. But uh, Pranam Mukherjee, an old Congress, uh, uh, you know, loyalist, uh, really, you know, standing firm on his decision. I want to go. Usually, we know that uh, sometimes the face can launch a million ships. I think Pranam Mukherjee's uh, uh, presence 
is in a way some kind of a political signal being sent out mm-hmm. political circles in delhi and across the country are agog with the news that there is a possibility of another front emerging not led by the congress in mm-hmm. which an acceptable leader uh, yeah, there is a hunt on can pranab mukherjee be that acceptable leader for okay. the bjd the idm ks and others which can challenge narendra modi rahul just well kindly as- stay on with me we also have with us from the congress tom vadakkan and uh, mr tom thank you so much for joining us and good morning so a lot of uh, a lot of leaders in the congress they have already expressed their shock initially and then also their disappointment of the former president accepting this invite uh, your thoughts because today his daughter in fact has put out a tweet and she's also been rather critical of her father's decision to go ahead with this event well what the daughter has said there on record there's nothing we have to add on the subject i have already said during my press conference in delhi at corpus that let me have a chat with the minister of finance he is not going to any speculation about the disaster it is not it's only few hours away once that happens we will give you but we reserve our rights to comment at that juncture So sure, absolutely but has there been talk with the former president uh, i mean has the congress sought his views on uh, his decision to invite uh, uh, to to be invited by uh, an organization uh, and he himself personally not really being ideological uh, ideologically aligned with them in the past as well during his political career Right Mr Tom Barakan unfortunately we're just having some disturbance there in your audio we'll try and fix that uh, but that is the big news and all eyes will be on this big event at the RSS event uh, where Pranab Mukherjee the former president who has accepted the inv- invitation will be addressing uh, the RSS workers uh, in fact this despite a lot of opposition coming in from the congress uh, who have expressed their surprise and their shock to hear about the decision of Pranam Mukherjee to attend the RSS program in Nagpur after almost a week of politics over the former president Pranam Mukherjee's attendance at the RSS event in fact he is going to be today addressing the cadres today let's take a look at what can one expect and the preparations that are in place ahead of that big awaited speech towering leader questioned by junior leaders why undemocratic opposition to exchange of ideas as a united opposition stands divided over former president pranab mukherjee's attendance at rss's nagpur event this is rss's general secretary manmohan vaidya welcoming pranab da to nagpur as before the former president reached nagpur the rss general secretary mounted a scathing attack on the congress and those in the opposition who have been against pranab mukherjee accepting the rss invitation to address its trainees Vaidya they said that ideological roots of this opposition are predictable and that most intellectuals from an ideology that's alien to India he also said that by opposing Pranam Mukherjee's visit a healthy exchange among diverse stakeholders was being rejected where they claimed that RSS has found acceptability all over Bharat Zakir Hussain Sir Palli Radha Krishnan APJ Abdul Kalam have attended RSS programs there was no consternation then now when pranav dai is attending there is a consternation this shows that the culture of the congress and culture of dialogue have changed under the impact of the left liberal intellectuals and rahul gandhi and sonia gandhi it is a cause of concern for not just the congressmen but every citizen of the country today the vichar dhara of rss is to divide the nation polarize the country on communal lines But as the RSS cries triumph other opposition leaders are still fuming RSS cannot take this engagement as an endorsement of its policies even if um, uh, Mr Pranab the endorses RSS policies it does not mean the country will have to accept Pranam Mukherjee sahab is mulk ke sarokaron se waqif hain unka likha padha hum jante hain वो जब जाएंगे तो उदार लोकतंत्र के बारे में बात करेंगे संघ के पास दो ही विकल्प है या तो उनकी बात को इनकार कर दे या 
अपने संगठन को भंग कर दे मीन वाइल एस प्रणब मुखर्जी लैंड इन नागपुर फॉर द मीट द आर एस एस इज गेटिंग सेट टू रूल आउट द रेड कार्पेट फॉर द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट विद इट्स चीफ मोहन भागवत पर्सनली सुपरवाइजिंग द अरेंजमेंट प्रणब मुखर्जी is a act yeah. worth watching on Thursday evening RSS headquarters in Nagpur yeah. what will he say one let to wait and see thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to